So, hi everyone. Um, how are we doing today? So today, uh, I'll be speaking to us about um, unleashing the power of open source, uh, specifically around the Google Dev Library, uh, talking about the Google Dev Library, some of the things that we do uh, with regards to open source, and how you can sort of power your career growth with Google Dev Library. So before we just start, I quickly want us to do some form of icebreaker to have some fun. Um, so before you go to the next slide, what I want us to do is I'm going to display something, and I want you to see who can pronounce it in seven seconds. Um, do you have an extra mic? Yeah, we do. OK. So, um, so I'll leave you to look at it. If you know you can pronounce it in seven seconds, you want to try, raise your hands. Though I have gifts for you, so you can try. Read this in seven seconds. <laughs> um, open source programmers, passionate board. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me set my timer so we know that there's no cheating, right? Um, and it's easier. I can find the timer to... Okay, stopwatch, seven seconds. Sorry, I don't know how to do this thing. I'm a tech bro. Okay, who wants to try? It looks like you're not serious, please. <laughs> No, you can just stay there. Who will tell me when I start? Wait, Jill. Oh, yeah, you can start now. Open source programmers passionately produce projects, pioneering possibilities, programming perfection reflects, pristine pool requests, promptly propose, peerless collaborations, code creation composed. Anyways, she didn't get it correctly. That's 10 seconds. I'm sorry. Who else wants to try? Let me see. OK, let's give that guy. Um, are you ready? I think so. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, okay, start. Open source programmers passionately produce projects, pioneering possibilities, programming perfection, reflects <laughs> pristine poop requests, promptly proposed, peerless collaborations, code creation composed. Anyways, that's, that's 10 seconds. So it looks like nobody will go with my prize. Okay, let's find one more person. Let's use, okay. No, she would get it. <laughs> Open source programmers passionately produce projects, pioneering possibility, programming perfections, reflect with pristine, pull request, promptly proposed, peerless collaborations, code creation composed. I started my timer late, and you still got to eight seconds. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, but it's something I will still try at the end. Uh, please, for each one that answered, just meet me later at the Google boat. I have something for you. Oh, there's an actual timer. I forgot. Uh, so it brings us to imagine like there's a world without open source, right? Even, even though it's what, it was a tongue twister, it still had like making sure that you get the point of open source and how open source can sort of uh, help your career growth when you contribute to it. So imagine there's a world without open source. Uh, it's like you're trying to create a sandwich without bread, or you're trying to drink a <laughs> caffeine-free coffee, which is, of course, impossible. Or you're trying to what? Uh, crafting a cutless meme. Uh, it simply does not work. And today, I would do I'll first start about talking about open source software itself and seeing how some of the things that we have done with respect to open source and how that has helped us to continue to help developers, designers, program managers, community managers to grow. So what is open source software? We already know what it is. It's a type of software that is essentially developed by what? Community of people coming together to collaborate, to share knowledge, whether it is from the community angle, or it is from the development angle, or it is from the design angle, and trying to make the source code of uh, the software freely available to the public. So 
So what this means is that anyone can come to open source, collaborate, design, and contribute to. So far, you've just learned about licensing from Karen and her team. Uh, so far, you are following the licensing of the open source tool. You can come and then use that to what? Collaborate, modify, or distribute according to the license. So how exactly can we unleash the power of open source, right? Um, the real power of open source, and for you to use it as a, career, as a point of career growth for you is the real point of open source, right, and for you to use it as a career good for you is by collaborating with people, sharing your works out there, pushing your work out there, letting people know, sharing your story, sharing your journey, letting people know what you are, and then using that to just put your expertise out there. And then from that, you're using that to create what? Robust, reliable uh, softwares. Uh, of course, it's Google, so I'm targeting more to software, but it applies across board, whatever you are. And what are some of the things that Google have done uh, to open source? Of course, uh, how many of you here have participated in the Google Summer of Code? Nobody. Okay, I'm seeing some hands. Awesome. So you guys are rich. They pay you money to participate in open source uh, over, over, over the summer, and you get paid. You are part of... Uh, also, there's something called Google Season of Docs. It's something else that we do for technical writers. You get paid to write for companies that need documentation. Uh, there's OSS Falls, which is for security experts. You come together, participate in like a coding challenge. There's the open source insight, which is the reporting, sort of reporting what is happening in the ecosystem, how the ecosystem is doing. Um, and of course, there's the security, research, and community. And then the one I want to really talk about today, briefly, is the what Google Dev Library, which is another way for you to grow and catapult your growth. So what exactly is Google Dev Library for most people that do not know? So Google, uh, uh, before we go, uh, how many of you can identify any of the products here? Okay, where's my mic? So who wants to try? There's just one, no? Android. Just one. Thank you. Android, uh -uh. who else just wants one. to try? You want to get everything? Angular. Angular, OK. Oh, yeah. Who else wants to try? Google Map. OK, it's there. But is it Google Map or Google Maps platform for developers? Google Machine Learning. No. <laughs> oh, sit, sit. No, please, this one does not count. <laughs> Flutter. OK, Flutter. Firebase. Fire. Where's Firebase? Firebase is not here now. Abby, what sign is this? Hello? Uh, what's that in the uh, other last side? Assistant. Okay, assistant. Uh, and you see that we have like a lot of all this collaborative tool, whether it is a programming language, whether it is a platform that allows you to make uh, your work easier. And all of these platforms, they are open, available, accessible to you. Um, and then you now find out that, so what exactly is Google Dev Library? Ah, I see fine boy. Okay, they've taken the way. So Google Dev Library is like the platform that showcases inspiring open source projects uh, and technical blog posts authored by external developers on Google's own platform. So what it means that you are a technical person, you've written something about anything, right? Anything Google related, of course. So whether you write something in Android, or write something in about Google Maps, or write something about TensorFlow, or write something about whatever, you then come to Google Dev Library and then, or you build a project, and then you want to, you want it to reach the wider audience all over the world. You can use Google Dev Library to host your and showcase what you have written. So you can, you, of course, you can see because you are showcasing, you can learn from other people's. Because you are showcasing, you can learn from other people's work. Um, you can also get the opportunity to build your own. 
you get the opportunity to be inspired and then to inspire others. And then what? Of course. So what it means is that two things. You can learn on the platform by seeing what other people like you have submitted. And then you can also submit and showcase your work. Um, so what can I contribute to Google Dev Library? So the four things that, that are really like four things that you can contribute. The first one is what technical blogs. So that you are doing um, how to articles, uh, like my friend Yolan Esof is always writing uh, how to make money, uh, how to make your first one trillion dollars from Flutter. Okay, but technical, Sha. So step step one, open VS Code. Step two, you get my point. Um, tutorials, uh, documentation, um, code labs, right? Um, use cases. So maybe you are trying something in, at your workplace, and then you find out that okay, this thing that you are trying, uh, you found a new use case. So you can write about it, and then showcase it on what Google Dev Library. The second thing that you can do is uh, you can showcase your GitHub repos. So whether you have projects, you have applications, you have libraries, you have you know these starter codes. For example, maybe you want to start a new project that helps somebody to quickly start, and then. Uh, or what they call it recipe or recipe, yeah. Um, and then, of course, because of licensing, your code also has to be what under the what MIT or Apache 2.0 open source license. And then, of course, currently, uh, I know that the Google Dev Library only supports English, which everybody here in this room, I assume that we speak. Um, of course, sometimes in future, it's going to expand to other languages. And then the technologies that we currently accept. Uh, they are content on all of these things. Um, Android, TensorFlow, Flutter, Firebase, Google Maps, and all of that stuff. And so to, to give you an highlight, uh, if you've not seen it now, uh, to maybe put it plainly on how I think that it can help you, right? Uh, why should you contribute? Number one is, as you are contributing, you are getting an auto page for your content portfolio. So. Let's say, for example, um, Jennifer wants to employ you today. Uh, so instead of you looking for, ah, where's my content up and down? You know that everything is in one place, and you have an author page that you can share. Uh, of course, you also get the opportunity to be spotlighted in the Dev Library newsletter and the author page. So for example, how many of you know this guy? Rising is here. Uh, he's one of the GDs in the GD program. He was spotlighted by contributing for his contribution to the what? Dev library. Um, the third one is you get the opportunity to share with the community and help others learn. Uh, and then of course, the final one is what? You reach and inspire more developers. So because it's a global platform, you get the opportunity to meet people all over the world. So how do you get started? I've shared all of this thing. How do you get started? If you go to the website, uh, which is dev library, dot with google dot com uh, you are able to see all the, the whole platform explore the product explore the different api you can select a category that you are interested in you can learn from other people's content um, and you can find uh, product experts and authors and you can sort of begin to build and showcase your technical projects and, and uh, to, to end my talk i just wanted, wanted to spotlight uh, Dominus Kelvin. Uh, I ran across this tweet. He's also a speaker. I don't know whether he's in the room, but I ran across his talk on, I, I ran across his article. So you see that it's the official Google for Developers account that spotlighted his contributions to Google Dev Library, as you can see here. And you can see that he has a lot of retweets, that's a lot of likes, and then if you are using that to get more people to find out about you, and it gives you the opportunity. And particularly, even if you are interested in the Google Developer Expert program, this is also a way you can begin to highlight all your different content together in one place so that more people can find out about you. And then uh, on a final note, uh, let's just uh, harness the power of open source uh, to unlock the limitless future uh, by sharing our knowledge, doing the hard work, and collaborating with people. Uh, we can power our career growth. And looking forward to seeing everybody on the Google Dev Library. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you.